Hey everybody, Mark here from 8 Minute Acts. I want to wish all of you a safe, happy, and healthy new year. I can't thank you enough for all the support and encouragement this year. So, new year, new you, right? If you want to end this year as a better guitar player than you are right now, then this video is for you. I'm going to tell you how to overcome the odds. 85 to 90% of resolutions fail. Over half call it quits within the first two weeks. And 15% won't even start. Experts say there's three main reasons why resolutions fail. Either the goals are too lofty, too long-term, or not specific enough. You'll see similar videos to this one that give you the tip, set a practice schedule, and stick to it. I guarantee that if your goal for 2022 is to set a practice schedule and stick to it, you will fail. What does that even mean? Practice for how long? How many days a week? And the $64,000 question, what are you supposed to be practicing? Improving our practice is going to be our goal for 2022, but I'm going to simplify it for you. I'm going to tell you exactly what to do to guarantee that practicing guitar effectively becomes a habit. If you follow these instructions to the letter, you will be successful. And it doesn't matter what level player you are, all you have to do is commit to 10 minutes a day for 30 days. That's it. Now, if you can stick to this practice routine for 30 days, there's a much better chance that you'll be able to stick to a schedule for the entire year, and you'll be that much more likely to reach whatever goals you set. Okay, let me first quickly address those of you who don't yet play guitar. You've always wanted to play guitar, but because of whatever excuse you tell yourself, you haven't started. I made a funny video of the ridiculous excuses people make as to why they haven't picked up the guitar. My fingers are too fat. I'm not musically inclined. I'm tone deaf. That's all a bunch of crap. You're either too lazy or you have a fear of failure. One of my favorite quotes is, every day you put off something that you've always wanted to do, you're one day closer to never doing it. Well, I'm gonna make it easy for you. Buy a guitar. You can get a very playable guitar for less than $100. Once you have your guitar, email me at markabernally at gmail.com and I will help you get started on a path to success. It's as simple as that. And don't worry, there won't be any sales pitch at the other end. I don't sell anything. I've already shared a learning and practice philosophy that I believe is the key to success and I'd be happy to share it with you. Now for the rest of you, you're gonna take five simple steps. Okay, step number one, and this may seem a bit silly, but just go with me. Say out loud, I will practice guitar for 10 minutes a day for 30 days, and I will be successful. Now, positive affirmations are supposed to work, but I figure it this way. If you do that, at least you don't fall into the 15% that didn't get started at all. Step number two, and this is the most important step. Think of something that you do every single day. It could be drinking coffee, brushing your teeth, reading the paper, jogging, but it has to be something that you do every single day. You're gonna tie that activity to 10 minutes of practicing guitar every day. So let's say you pick drinking coffee. So now it's, I'm gonna drink coffee and practice guitar for 10 minutes. It's one thing. By anchoring your practice to something that you already do every day and associating the two habits as one, it will be much easier to stick to your commitment. Step number three, get your guitar and either hang it on the wall or put it on a stand somewhere close to where the other activity that you chose takes place. It could be next to the coffee pot, next to the bathroom, or by your bed. Step four, download Guitar Tuna or another tuner app. Nothing is less inspiring than playing an out of tune guitar, so now you'll have a guitar tuner at your disposal at all times. And go ahead and tune your guitar. And I do recommend you do this before and after each practice session. Step number five, print out the level appropriate practice routine that I've provided in the description. And that's it, five simple steps. If you can do this, you're on your way. I'm gonna quickly go over what you're going to accomplish in the next 30 days. Remember that our only goal here is to form the habit of practicing guitar and not to try to become a pro in 30 days. We're gonna keep this very simple, easy to accomplish, and intentionally very repetitive. Regardless of your ability level, Every one of these exercises should be performed slowly and accurately. And if you're an advanced beginner, intermediate, or advanced player, I recommend that you do the warm-ups to a metronome. Set the bar high for yourself. I also strongly discourage you from exceeding 10 minutes, and I'll tell you why. 
I've seen many students fail because on day three, they feel extra motivated and practice for 30 minutes. Then on day four, they say, ah, I don't have 30 minutes today. And if I only do 10 minutes, I'm a failure. So I'm just not gonna do it at all. Set a timer and stick to 10 minutes, period. Okay, for you beginners, your practice routine will consist of a warm up exercise, learning eight open chords, learning how to switch between certain chords, and learning a basic strum pattern. You'll also learn to play the riff to satisfaction and to smoke on the water, and you'll learn one entire song. Advanced beginners will do a slightly more challenging warm up exercise, review all of the open chords, practice the sixth and fifth string root bar chords, both major and minor, and learn the riff to Day Tripper and House of the Rising Sun. I'll also provide advanced beginners with a list of easy four chord songs that you can play along to. For intermediate players, the practice session is gonna be a little bit different. You're gonna choose between warming up with the five pentatonic scale shapes or the seven major scale shapes using three notes per string. And you'll find tabs for all these in the description. Spend any additional time perfecting riffs that you already know. Set a goal of perfecting a riff every three days for a total of 10 riffs. For you advanced players, I'm gonna recommend that you do what I do and get out of your comfort zone and challenge yourself to learning a new style. Last January, I committed to learning finger style and this year I'm gonna give bluegrass a try. These are good practice routines for each skill level. Obviously, beginner, intermediate, and advanced are subjective words. It may or may not be what you think you should be doing, but I strongly encourage you to stick to one of these specific practice routines. If you can stick to one of these, you will have developed some new, really good habits, and you'll have a much better chance of reaching whatever goals you set, as long as they're specific, short-term, and reasonably attainable. If you decide to accept the challenge and make the commitment to follow one of these routines, please leave me a comment and let me know, and please keep me updated along the way. If you need help or clarification with any of the practice routines, just shoot me an email at markarenally at gmail.com. Also, don't forget to enter this month's Van Gogh 12 string guitar giveaway. Last year, I gave away 12 brand new 12 string guitars, and I'm hoping to double that number this year. Details on how to enter this month's contest are in the description. That's all for today. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And if you've made it this far and you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Most importantly though, have a great year. I'll see you in the next video.